Summer is coming to an end, so it's time to stop enjoying all those barbecues and start worrying about cancer. Hello there, Extra Crispy Colonels. Trace here for D News. We all hate it when our food gets burnt. I know I flipped over more than one table at a fancy restaurant because my Brussels sprouts weren't just overcooked, but burnt. Burnt, Jesse. I'm still bitter about it. As it turns out, my seemingly excessive displays of disgust are more reasonable than it might seem. Besides tasting and smelling absolutely awful, research has shown that burnt and overcooked food might actually cause cancer. Your mom was right, sort of. Although studies on dietary consumption of burnt food won't directly say you'll get cancer if you eat that blackened wing, the risk is still there. See, in 2002, scientists at Stockholm University found that starchy foods like French fries or garlic bread developed acrylamide after being heated to 120 degrees Celsius. The chemical is produced by a reaction between asparagine, a non-essential amino acid, and certain sugars like fructose. This chemical was not found in unheated foods or those that had been boiled and unable to reach the necessary temperature. So it's not only burnt foods, but pretty much all starchy foods exposed to high enough heat, including well done, fried, and baked. Now, you might be inclined to think that getting cancer from burning food to a crisp would work in the same way as getting cancer from smoking, and you're sort of right. That's because the cancer risk stems from a chemical called acrylamide, and acrylamide is also found in cigarette smoke. So pat yourselves on the back for being right on the money on that one. In studies where acrylamide was given to lab rats in their drinking water, it caused tumors in the lungs, thyroid, adrenal glands, and testicles. Eesh. It also seemingly caused mutations in mouse sperm DNA that can then be passed on to their offspring. So not only does it give animals cancer, but it also hurts their babies. In humans, the acrylamide irritates skin and is believed to be a tumor initiator. But the link to cancer isn't as hard and fast. In studies where it actually caused cancer in rats and mice, those animals were being fed doses roughly 1,000 to 10,000 times higher than what could possibly be found in a burnt batch of french fries or a crispy burger. Nonetheless, acrylamide is classified as a group 2A carcinogen by the International Agency for Research on Cancer, meaning it probably causes cancer in humans, but not conclusively. In 2010, Harvard researchers found an increased risk of ovarian and endometrial cancer in women who didn't smoke but did eat foods with lots of acrylamide. And a meta-analysis from 2015 found that dietary acrylamide might be related to kidney cancer. Still, and again, there is no conclusive evidence that acrylamide is responsible for any of the most common cancers, like breast cancer. So since there's no direct proof, you can just limit your intake of well-cooked foods and you'll be fine, right? Not so much. See, cooked and burnt foods can still give you cancer even if you don't directly consume them because of secondhand smoke, sort of, not really, but kinda. When you cook food over an open flame, especially muscle meats like beef, pork, fish, or poultry, the drippy byproducts fall into the fire, producing two types of chemicals, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, and heterocyclic amines. As you cook, those two chemical groups both become airborne or volatile and also are considered mutagenic, which is not a word you want associated with standing near an open barbecue pit. A mutagen is something that causes changes in your DNA, and it can lead to an increased risk of cancer. PAHs have been correlated with skin, lung, bladder, liver, and stomach cancer in animal testing. And prostate, colorectal, and pancreatic cancers have been associated with eating burnt or nearly burnt meats, which the National Cancer Institute ties to these chemical groups. Now look, this all sounds pretty scary. But remember, the studies are just pointing out these chemicals exist in the world and cause cancers sometimes. They're relatively inconclusive. Although there is some correlation between eating well-cooked meat or starchy foods cooked at high temperatures and certain types of cancers, it is nowhere near as clear as the link between, say, cigarettes and lung cancer or sun exposure and skin cancer. You can be guaranteed research is still ongoing in this area. Just moderate your intake of these risky foods and you should be okay. Plus, less mammal meat is better for you in general and the environment, just don't grill your veggies. Cancer-free quinoa, here I come. It's not just grilled foods and starches. There is another indication that everyone's favorite belly meat, bacon, yes, bacon, might be killing you. In fact, processed meats in general were named cancer causers. But what is a processed meat? I looked at it last year and it was pretty fascinating. Check it out. Processed red meat is mammalian muscle meat, such as beef, veal, pork, lamb, mutton, horse, and goat, which has been transformed due to salting, curing, fermentation, smoking, or other processes to enhance flavor or improve preservation. What do you guys think is the best way to cook a steak? 
Should we get a little crispy or keep it on the rare side? Let us know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe for more D News, and thanks for tuning in.